Hello friends. Welcome back to All and Law. And today's topic of discussion is a medical video lecture biochemistry. That is genetics. genetics and today's topic of discussion is the genetic code genetic code okay guys so let me start a quick discussion on this and before starting a discussion I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends and this is a really very important topic for USMLE step 1 examination and if you are applying for appearing for any other medical board examination definitely this is gonna help you a lot okay guys so let me quickly start this what is let me start here a genetic code a genetic code like we have a blue code okay so we have a genetic code what is you know what is genetic code what is the definition of this how would you define that definition a genetic code is nothing but it's it's a kind of what you call a relationship between the the what you call sequence of nucleotides in the t of in the dna or in its rna transcripts and the sequence of amino acids okay amino acids in a protein okay so this is what the, it shows the relationship between this the sequence of nucleotides in the DNA and the sequence of what it calls uh, amino acids in the protein okay proteins so it's gonna show you the relationship okay as you know that each amino acid is specified by one or more nucleotide triplets in the DNA okay so let me quickly start and let me tell you the important features of genetic code. There are few what you call 10 to 9 to 10 or 11 important points about the genetic code. Let's start the most important one. The each codon consists of a three bases. It has a three bases, remember. Okay, three bases or it's called as a triplet. And there are total how many codons is 64 remember this there are total 64 codons okay and they are written in the direction phi dash to 3 dash direction phi dash this is really very important for USMLE step one examination and genetic is real guys really very important you will get a lot many questions from a genetics in USMLE step one so try to concentrate on this okay look at this we have a 64 what do you call codons right 64 codons out of which the 61 codons code for amino acids okay 61 code for amino acids whereas the other three are the stop codons the remaining three are stop codons or sometimes they are called as nonsense codons stop codons okay guys so what are these three stop codons can you tell me okay just remember there are the three u a a u g a and u a g so you can look over here the first initial is best is u u u okay and then you can interchange u a a u g a and g u a g so just try to memorize this this is really very important which of the following could be a stop codon they can give you the option okay right okay now let's start with that uh, these what you call three codons as a called as stop codons what they do they stop 
the term what he calls translation means the terminate the translation okay translation right guys so next let's talk about the the other important point of a genetic code the feature the genetic code there is one start codon okay that is known as initiation codon okay that that should be the first what do you call the first codon of the amino acids that should be the first one and that is can you guess that is a u g remember a u g okay you can remember as august okay a u g that codes for m e t what's that what's that that's a methionine right it's a methionine so every protein synthesis begins with a amino acid that is methionine and that has a genetic code that is a codon is a u g very very important guys okay so what are the important features one is it has a three bases um okay there are three bases each codon consists of three bases uh, known as a triplex and there are total 64 codons right and they run in the direction of 5 dash to 3 dash this is really very important and out of 64 61 amino codes for amino acids okay whereas three other stop codons which are those uaa uga uag they are called as stop codons or nonsense codons because they stop the translation process right now we have an initiation codon initiation or initiates the codon okay right initiation codon that's code for methionine and that is the codon is a u g august remember that's a mnemonic good mnemonic guys every protein of our body should start the initial amino acid is methionine remember this is really very basic thing okay let's talk about the other features okay uh, let me call this as the code on the genetic code is unambiguous and ambiguous okay what does it mean means the each codon we have specifies no more than one amino acids okay each codon specifies no more than one amino acids I will write this one right no more than one amino acids or amino acids okay let's talk about the other feature of the genetic code the genetic code is what you call degenerate what's a degenerate here we said in um, uh, unambiguous because each codon specifies one more than one amino acid and sorry no more than one amino acids whereas if we say and we here we say genetic code is a degenerate because more than one codon can specify a single amino acid and all amino acids except two that is have more than one codon okay which are those they are methionine and trp that's a tryptophan more than one codon can specify a single amino acid and all the amino acids except methionine and tryptophan have more than one codon remember okay so did you get the difference right let's move on to the next important i say that the genetic code is comaless comaless what's a comaless means it's contiguous right what's that means there's no spacer or there is no comma between the codons on mRNA no spacer between the codons on mRNA okay guys okay for those amino acids having more than one codon the first two bases in the codon are usually the same okay and the usually for example i would like to tell you okay um, let's talk about this uh, what you call tyrosine for example if the tyrosine is t a c okay t a c is a tyrosine i'm just giving an example okay t a what you call 
the other if it the c instead of c if there's anything else else other than the c then it sometimes can code if it codes for the same tyrosine it can code that's the feature of this genetic code of what we are talking about okay if you want the standard example i would like to tell you in uh, what he calls um if uh, like for example i would like to tell you tta okay codes for leo whereas ttg T T G codes for Leo. Okay, Lucine, right? The both this, both the look at this. Both codes the same. Both code on codes the same protein amino acids. Okay, right? So um, did you get me? The first two bases in the codon are usually same, whereas the third often varies. This is the third one. This is a one, two, three, and the third varies. Okay. Okay, now let's talk about the other, the code is universal, means it's all the same in all the animals, all, all the organisms, except in some minor variations in mitochondria. Okay guys, universal, okay. Now, the neighboring codons on a message are non-overlapping non-overlapping so you got to know the so many points about the genetic code what's the genetic code genetic code is nothing but it it shows a relationship between the sequence of a nucleotides in dna and the sequence of amino acids in a protein okay so this is what the genetic code and what are the features what are the total codons we have we have total 64 codons out of which 61 are for amino acids and three are the stop codons and try to know which are those stop codons they are uaa uga uga and uag and tell me the which is the initial initiation codon initiation codon is nothing but August that is a u g okay guys so i have discussed other features of the genetic code i hope i'm sure this video is really very helpful for you thank you so much for watching this video and please do share our videos and just wait for some other videos we're going to upload on the different topics of genetics thank you so much for watching this video take care